Well, hello again, future happy campers. Tony here with Redwood Empire RVs, and we've got a brand new toy hauler, Shockwave T24 QSMX. Uh, this one has 2,470 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, and it's one of the neatest floor plans I've seen in a toy hauler. So let's take a look, shall we? Uh, we'll start here at the front. We have your power tongue jack. A smooth front for easier towing. You can hear the freeway. We are freeway close here in Ukiah. We'll explain all those cables in a minute. But it's a cool part of this travel trailer. Um, look at the storage in the front here. I mean, your fishing poles, heck, your pogo stick. All kinds of stuff can go in here. This is a 1500 watt inverter here. So that will convert that battery power that you saw at the front to uh, electrical, you know, 110 power. So you can run some of the outlets and such in this toy hauler without starting the generator. But it has a generator. Hmm. Curious, sounds pretty cool. This is your black tank flush. Keep that black tank clean. You have your power awning here. D handle to get in. This one's equipped with the Arctic package, so you can enjoy this trailer in a greater amount of time throughout the year. They put outdoor speakers on it. LED lighting. There's LED lighting under the awning as well as additional LED lighting to light up your campsite. This one has the power stabilizer jacks included. And of course, you have your uh, power and cable hookup. So if you want to bring your TV out here, it's all set up for that. I like these shockwaves also because they use a z-frame outrigger on the frames so it's a stronger better construction again another led way up there at the top and this door obviously is your ramp counterweighted so it's not difficult to bring down and it includes this particular model includes the cable so this can be a deck so it kind of extends the length of the trailer. All right, here's one of the many things I like about these. First of all, fully walkable roof. It's your ladder. More LED lighting on this side because here's your fuel station. So you could haul your toys dry if you choose or just gas them up again. So you have a fuel station. Fill your fuel. That's where you have your fill to fill the fuel station try saying that three times fast and that's where your sewer hose goes poet and I didn't even know it uh, outdoor shower city water and your um, tank fill these things carry we'll put the numbers below but these things carry a tremendous amount of water this is a great boondocking trailer if that's your style Here's even more storage under here. And notice this nice big slide. That's something I'll show you when we get inside. Uh, there you have your Onan 4000 watt generator. But that's not your only outside power source. All right, I keep alluding to it. Let's go inside. Shall we have made it inside and let's take a look. Let's go this way. Right inside the door, you have your bathroom. There's a nice tall shower there. You have a lavatory, obviously. Uh, this has this cool screen sort of door. It's a neat setup. And there's that guy again. Medicine cabinet with an extra shelf here. They put the things for your toothbrushes. Cabinet space, foot flush toilet. 
So accessible from the front, come right in the door. Accessible from the bedroom, which is where I am now. They have Denver mattresses in these shockwave toy haulers. A real high quality mattress, believe it or not. And look at that. A lot of people complain there's no place to put shoes in an RV. Well, they fix that right under the bed there. There's a big chest of drawers. If you're always thinking, God, there's not much place to put clothes. Well, you'll be able to do that here. There's cabinets down below, full extension drawers here, even a mirror so you can see just how good looking you really are. Nice composite countertop, USB and power outlets here. And then sort of a surprise closet in the front of the bathroom with clothes hanger and such it's such a neat layout i love the layout of this toy hauler um check this out this is what i was kind of yapping on about go power solar power so there's 220 watts of solar power on the roof that's included 1500 watt inverter so let's say you and your traveling companion are on different sleep schedules and one of you gets up early and wants to have that initial shot of coffee and the other one wants to be left alone well you don't have to start that 4000 watt generator to get a cup of coffee made you're using the power of the sun and that inverter pretty slick right i mean you can go boondocking and potentially never even kick the generator on depending on where you're going and when here you have your cd dvd player and it has your usb input and bluetooth and all of that tv that's designed specifically for the environment and we always say a rv going down the road it's like a 4.5 earthquake getting hauled through a tornado cabinets a nice big RV fridge, so it's propane and electric. Space above. There's your microwave. Three burner stove, and it's a really big RV oven. So, some real cooking done. Again, you have your composite countertops with a giant sink and a residential style, almost commercial style faucet there. Hardwood cabinets here. You have full extension drawers here that with already with the divider. More space underneath. Okay, so the toy hauler part. You're saying, oh, there's all this great looking furniture in there. Where do I put my toys? Well, all you have to do is flip these down, push a button, and they're on what's called a happy jack system. No, I don't know why it's called a happy jack system, but I guess Jack's a jolly fellow, isn't he? But anyway, it takes this couch and that one and pushes it up against this ceiling. Now, what's this? This is a second bed up here. And uh, so if you have a whole lot of people that are with you, these two couches can be flipped down and it's a bed for two. And then you have another bed for two up there. And then if it, when the bed's up, there's a series of LEDs back here that light this whole area up. So it's really nice. And you have this table. It's two tables, actually. So you could take one out if you want. Um, if there's somebody sleeping up in this second bed, they've got their own lights, they've got USB chargers, so they're, they're well taken care of too. They're nef definitely not second class citizens up there. Uh, that, as I said, the door flips down and becomes a deck or, of course, a ramp to get the toys in. So once these are all up, plenty of room for your toys. And you also get these great chairs here with another table and i like that they use the black 
shades. It really is going to block the light at night. Or even in the day, for that matter. Uh, here's some more storage. Again, all really good cabinetry. By the way, these are adjustable hinges. So over time, as these adjust to life on the road, you can accommodate if there's any flex at all. Here's your generator start. Your thermostat. Here's your fuel station, so you know how much fuel you have. Power awning. Light all your lights and accent lights. Gas and electric water heater. In other words, they've thought of just about everything. You would think, as someone who works in the RV business, that when I go on vacation. I would not want to go to an RV show, but oh no, not me. That's why I'm the RV nerd. So we went to an RV nerd, my wife, we went to an RV show, my wife and I, and I saw this exact floor plan, but from another manufacturer. And I told my wife, this is one of the best toy hauler floor plans that I've seen personally. Uh, but there were some things about that that I didn't really like, including some of the finish and the details. Well, now the Shockwave brand has this exact floor plan. And boy, they've just done it right. So uh, were I to get a toy hauler, this is the one for me. Of course, we have a whole variety of toy haulers, travel trailers, small and large here at Redwood Empire RVs. Come in and, and check us out. We'd love to make you a happy camper. As always, this video represents this particular toy hauler, but who knows what we'll have in stock. You can check our website. It has specific details, photos, videos. Our prices always include your propane and a brand new battery. And uh, there's no fees or hidden charges or any games or malarkey here. It's basically our prices are the trailer, the tax, and the DMV, and you're a happy camper. So we'd love to make you a happy camper. Come and see us. We're here in Ukiah, Northern California, right off the freeway. And happy to answer your questions. We're Avid RVers. We'd like you to be one too. Happy camping, everybody. And thank you for watching. We appreciate it.